Okay, let's meet, uh, uh, what's his name? Seven. You see Seven sitting alone, poking at his phone. Oh, it's you. Hey. Seven puts away his phone and looks at you expectingly. Uh, that's an awkward silence. So, uh, what's your favorite Blade Generation album? What's Blade Generation? Never heard of Blade Generation. What's Blade Generation? Seven smiles as if it at a joke. Oh. Wait, you're serious? Oh. Uh, Blade Generation is my band from Korea. He is Korean! Oh, I guess that. I guess that correctly. <laughs> he reminds me of, uh, of the trickster in, uh, Dead by Daylight when I look at him. <laughs> Double platinum, no big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy? Do you watch net TV? Monster Tailing takes time. My love life is intense. I like to chill out. Wouldn't you like to know? I like to chill out. Uh, I like to chill out. Huh, it takes hard work to achieve anything, though, doesn't it? Oh, well, since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. I don't. Would you like to offer a gift? I guess. I guess not. I, I, I don't think he would like any of these. You decide not to give a gift right now. So, we're done here then. Let's do sometime. How is your sword life? How's sword life? Want to meet up again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can try that, I guess, but... Seven shrugs. I'm pretty busy. I have to prep for our comeback in the fall. Uh. I don't know if I can risk going back to the dunge. My agent would sue if I got any scars. He takes a sip from his coffee and makes a face. Not good enough for you? Something wrong? Yeah, I mean, not really, but uh. they used the wrong milk. Ask them to fix it. What kind? I asked for oat, but I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. Not my kind of thing. Huh? Wait, why is she coming over here? Crap. Cover for me. The cashier approaches your table nervously. Mm. Hey, um, sorry to bother you, but you're Seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. Seven looks at you and shakes his head slightly. There's a slight panic in his eyes. It's not his real name. He, yeah, he is. You're mistaken. Uh -uh. No way. I know that bias wreckers face anywhere. Wait, that means, oh, oh my. my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Play generation is in Verona. Oh my god, Olivia, leave. Huh? Maybe even Sung Yo Yu Wo Sung Wo is here too. Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Olivia rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. Who sung you? Are you okay? Yeah. Whatever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Thanks for having my back though. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Later. I guess though there's still the dunge if you want to. The monsters won't bring paparazzi. Love rank one. When finishing a combo, an energy bolt damages a nearby enemy from the first enemy hit. I like that. Seven slouches out, met by an expensive looking car outside. You head home. Yeah, Olivia made that trip very weird. Never going to kiss again, so hope you have other ideas. Beach, movie, dinner. <laughs> I think it's too fast to ask for dinner. Um, movie? I like movies. Good idea, maybe sometime. I'll think about it and get back to you. Mom! Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to pry, but is it uh, serious? I don't know yet. We're eloping. <laughs> Just friends, mom. I'm going, <laughs> we're eloping. No, 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 no. <laughs> My invitation is in the mail or else. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword, which I guess is a saying about marriage. Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. <laughs> oh, mom is awesome. Do I got, uh, nope, nope. I needed two glues. All right, let's leave. That is funny. We're eloping, mom. Okay, uh, I have one more date, right? Oh, yeah. 
Hey. You find Sunder and Mandy sitting on a dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Yeah, he looks kind of flustered right now. Yeah, being alive is the best, right? Mm. I won I wouldn't recommend it. You know, most people are dead statistically. That's a lot of people. Really a lot. Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Mm. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that'd be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sotins, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers, everyone. <sighs> Are you really trying to be more goth than me? Nah. No. I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Why all this death, death stuff? Then let's live it up. Yeah, then let's live it uh -huh. up. That's what I'm talking mm. about. Lola, what's a moment in your life when you felt most alive? You spend time chatting, looking out over the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there's a silence and Mandy clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You t you must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Mandy looks at you curiously. Wait, are they trying to eat me? I, I feel like they're vampires. Sure, a snack sounds good. What kind of snack? Whatever. Sure, a snack sounds good. <laughs> you hear that, lover boy? He's up for it. Hey. Cut it out, Mandy. They're vampires. They are vampires. What? You haven't told poor Lola about our little hobby? What hobby? He told me everything. Lie. Say nothing. Oh. Oh, really? Maybe he is learning from his mistakes then. Ah. Uh. Uh, Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Suit yourself. Just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up fast in summer. The sun comes up. They're vampires! They are vampires! Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Thanks for trying to cover for me. I know it must be awkward for you. Hmm. Sunder sighs, apparently at a loss for words. What was that about? What hobby? Nah. I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. You're a vampire, dude. I know. A cold breeze comes in from the ocean, chilly against your skin. Well, I do. Please tell me. Shiver. You poor thing. He rubs your goosebump be arms. Sunder whole hands aren't any warmer. Yeah, I know. He's he's cold to the touch. He's a vampire. But the friction helps relax you a little. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What is things are going a little bit too fast right now, Mr. Uh Twilight here. <laughs> he takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulders. Whoa, I got some cool shades. Yes. <laughs> Here, I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. Use them. He wakes up too late. He's never in the sun. He's a vampire. And I know you said you want the truth. I, I've been thinking about that. Mm. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It looks like he started to shiver. J let's j forget about this and I'll wa walk you home where it's warm. You walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. Mandy would have ate me, even if we were dating. You give him his jacket back. He puts it back on gracefully. <laughs> Gratefully. Before Mandy ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually, around now, I get summertime blues, but with you, I feel so alive. Love rank level three. Bleeding does more damage. Yes, I needed that. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. I bet it is a crypt, you vampire. I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come up? Please do and do what? I don't feel that way about you. Please do. Come on. Come on. Let's let's play some games. There's a racing game upstairs. Can I get in a few kisses here? Uh, no. I, I thought we were going up to play some video games, dude. 
You linger on the street corner before leading him upstairs. He waits outside the apartment politely until you invite him in. He waits! He waits! Vampires cannot enter your apartment or your household until invited. Wow, I like your place. You have good taste. I'm a little nervous, but I just want to treat you right. You spend the evening together. He's athletic and attentive. Attentive. Singularly focused on making you feel good. You notice his skin and blade remains strangely cold to the touch. No matter how long you cuddle. Want another blanket? Kiss more. Kiss more? I thought we were gaming. <laughs> so what was that hobby? Want another uh -huh. blanket? So sure, why not? No harm being extra cozy. Put on a shirt, dude. You snuggle up and kiss a few extra dozen times before he staggers to his feet, pulling his clothes back on. Um, um, I didn't, I didn't expect the kissing part, but uh, thank you so much for gaming with me. And I would like you to go now. Can't wait till next time, but got some things to do tonight. Later, hotness. He is a vampire. He lets himself out, and you fa soon fall asleep. He is a vampire. I don't know how. How did we meet? How did we meet? Give me a moment, guys. More cereal. I don't like to pry into people's lives. I don't like prying. Let's uh, go into the phone. What did he say? I just want to say you're cooler the more I get to know you. So thanks. Not welcome. You too. Rose emoji. <laughs> you too. You're cool too, guy. Let's dunge. You're cool. Oh, yeah. That's right, we met in the dunge. Let me see these sunglasses. Oh, I'm so cool. I like the hat though better. I guess I'm going to go dunge. There's nothing else for me, right? Nothing else. Let's dunge. Oh, new, new one, lightsaber. Oh, Valeria, my completionist, <laughs> my, my, my need to become a completionist is leading me down this path. Let's start back at one with this guy. I wonder if any of my sponsored brands are sold here. These attacks are huge. These attacks are ginormous. Maybe I can find glue this time. All right, done already. That was pretty smooth. It was. I feel more powerful now. I feel majorly powerful. So those levels are doing something for me. Yeah, next level. And did I miss over here? Nope. Okay, let's go. The the stronger attacks are really good. Come on, where's the monsters? Monsters! Jeez, one attack. That's the downstairs. And there's another monster here, it says. Well, I have to admit, that was satisfying. It was. 
It was. I love how much power I have right now. I have not needed to put any mines down at all as of yet. A new cap recipe. I hope this isn't stealing. It's not. Don't worry. Do not worry. Hey, I wouldn't mind chilling here if you are into it. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, North American arcades are kind of funny. They're so old and chill. Nobody's trying to be a pro. We could play co-op. Want to fight me? We could play co-op. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I heard this Moon Hunters one is pretty good. Never found the moon, though. You be the shape-shifty dru druid, and I'll be the swordsman this time, huh? You spend some time beating up pixel monsters and collecting loot. Which I'm doing now, right? <laughs> in, in this actual game. Seven runs out over and resurrects you each time your character falls. <laughs> Yeesh. It's a good thing you're more careful in real life than in the game. Seven smiles, wiping sweat from his eyes. Do all Koreans do that, like, heart-shaped finger thing? Would you like to offer a gift? Do I have a gift appropriate? A teddy bear. How about a teddy bear? Pick a gift you would like to give. A teddy bear. He loves teddy bears. Oh, the idea of you sewing this for me is almost too cute. Winning is hard work, unless we work together. I knew he'd like that. I'm pretty sure he was he's into cute cuteness. Cuteness all around. I love this hat that Valeria gave me. Man. She is awesome. I didn't need that, but I felt the need and the urge to grab it for some reason. He is maxed. Time to change up. My girl Valeria. We're back. We gotta come back with this. What is up with my fear of technology? I really need to solve this. We're almost... Looks like a normal mall at once. Huh, ice cream. Want some? Let's try vanilla this time. Mm -hmm. Makes me want to put some kind of sauce on it. She likes the chocolate one better. Tastes like summer. We... They're gonna have the same uh -huh. exact conversations. Where would your ideal summer vacation be? Having a sugar rush. Where are the monsters? Hey. Hey, who said you can touch me? Who said you can touch Lola? Dude, we didn't we didn't meet at this area yet, huh? Uh feels nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. I guess we did. Does it hurt? Uh -uh. No no, it's good exercise. I just need to stretch afterwards. Thanks. Oh, yeah. These are some good moments. This is getting way too easy. And I say that now, and then it's going to get too hard again. Okay. Here we go again. Uh huh. So we're going to race, right? Nah, let's chill. Did uh did you make a pun? Wow, I didn't know I had a crush on such a dork. Sunder skates beside you, sometimes turning backwards to watch you. <laughs> You're pretty cool. You're pretty good. It's always fun to see you in a new environment. Sunder smiles. We're all warmed up for more monsters. Running. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. I want that. What's this way? You don't detain my life? I've never seen this before. I'm actually excited to see what's going on here. Sunder eyes the statue up and down and then folds his arms. Ugh. There's have been millions of people in history that fought and loved and died. And this sculpture chose to just make something cute. Whatever, I guess. Everyone gets their kicks somewhere. Oh, now I'm starting to get it. He's a vampire. He has seen throughout time 
so many different deaths of people here and there. So he's relishing in life right now, especially in my company. What about yours? Me? You could probably guess. Mm. I like dancing and necks and wrists. The and inner thighs. And you obviously seems like you being your weapon is my main kink. You obviously seems like being your, your weapon is my main kink. Let's get back to it then. Sunder, sunder, sunder. Almost let myself die. Ah, no, I was not expecting that. Why? I messed up. I should have healed. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, I maxed them out. Okay. I'm gonna craft first. I got a lot of crafting items. All right, let's see, what else can I, what does this say? Like there's a glitch in my game. I don't know what it says, but I'm gonna craft it anyways. What is that fried mackerel? I don't know what these say. Pizza. I don't know what any of this says because it's glitched right now. A cupcake. She will love a cupcake. Oh, that's for me. That is for me. Oh. I'm loving what's going on right now. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, my phone's ringing off the hook. Seven, I could... How about a movie? I could go for horror or action. Let's go with horror. Yeah, okay. How about we see The Dunge? It's showing at 6.30 most nights. I heard it's good. Let me know. Okay, let's go. Meet you inside. Don't bring the fan club. Sounds good. I gotta meet him first. Sunder, hmm, heart, hmm, is that too much? <laughs> it is time, let's dance. Again? Again? He loves dancing. Poop emoji, party! Okay, the muffin stitch is gone, mostly. Wanna come see my work some evening? Sounds good. Can't wait. Valeria, Valeria. So, nah, that looks okay on me, but I really love that one. And here we go, bam, I'm looking jazzy. I'm looking good, I am looking good. I'm going to the movies first. Yep. Love rank. Let's go on a date. You're paying because I'm broke. I'm not broke anymore, actually. Sorry, I'm eating cereal. I'm so sorry. You and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. The film features a group of teens lost in a darker, bloodier dunge than you've ever seen. <laughs> Yeesh. And none of them can turn into swords. Bad strategy, kids. The monsters kill the most annoying teen first. Before long, the sidekick dies. And Seven frowns. 
Eventually, all but one of the teens dies horribly, and the survivor narrowly escapes. The lights come up, and you leave the theater. Ah, oh, man. Maybe I set my expectations too high. I am I mean, it was fine. Hmm. What do you think? I like more realism. I like the adrenaline. I like spending time with you. <laughs> Seven's eye eyes you thoughtfully, but doesn't reply. Would you like to offer a gift? Pretty sure. Nah. Nah. Uh-uh. No. Wait. Wait. Racing game? He likes the racing game. Oh, for sna the snazz. Sweet retro vibes. Love it. I had a feeling after the arcade chat that he would like an American racing game. Love rank number two. Long distance. Chain lightning can reach further. Chain lightning stuns enemies. I like the further reach. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. I totally didn't know you'd be here. Hey. You stalker, Olivia. Seven makes a face as if pleading silently for rescue. Okay, bye, Olivia. We were just leaving. I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven, I, I wrote this personal yeah. letter. All right, I'll take it. Fans are important uh -huh. to me. Er, no, that is, sorry, can you deliver it for me? Seven blinks. It's for Sung Woo, my ultimate bias. Can you give it to him for me, pretty, pretty, please? He stares at her for several seconds. Nuh-uh. Nuh -uh. <laughs> Seven walks away. Huh? Wow, fame sure has gone to his head, huh? Olivia's holding an envelope. Sung Woo is written on it with hearts for O's. I'll just have to figure out where Sung Woo's staying, I guess. Who's Sung Woo? That's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it, either. Hmm. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. You head home. Jeez, Olivia. Yeah, I can understand. I had to go. Sorry. It's okay. Talk to you later. Completely fine. You get fans like that all the time. They completely bother you constantly. I need to go to the art studio. You turn onto the side street that houses Valeria's art studio. But the smile on your face drops off as you see Jake walk out. Hide from Jake, confront him. I'm gonna confront him. You stand in front of him, arms crossed, trying to project confidence. And maybe just the tiniest bit of menace. Huh. Get out of my way. Leave Valeria alone. Get out of my way. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna be in your way a long time. Oh, yeah? I'm trying to walk down the street and you won't let me. No, I mean, um. You're, uh. <laughs> no, I mean, um. Wow. I wouldn't say that to people, that's why. Wow, you really thought this whole confront the ex evil ex boyfriend thing through, huh? Look. Can we skip the bull crap? You're just jealous. And that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> he gives you a grin and then saunters away, whistling. You watch him walk away and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. A any time now. Follow Jake or enter the studio. Ooh, I'm gonna enter the studio. Who cares about Jake? The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody spice perfume. Hey. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see Jake? Yeah, I talked to him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which, she twirls a strand of hair nervously and looks away. Oh, she's into me. Speaking of messy, I have something to show you. Huh. I want to trust you with a new part of me. And I'm not sure I should. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. Of course. It's a big step, but I want to take it in. Take it 
with you. I would want to take it with you. Me too. Yeah. Really? Okay, then come with me. Let's go. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria, holding hands in her in near silence. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels palpable between you. You keep walking till you reach the mall. Valeria tugs you to the side. Oh, she did that, right? She did that. She searches your face as you look in the mirror on the once plain wall. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's illegal. It's a lot. It's really beautiful. Thanks. You really think so? Um. Wow. Thank you. This is this is my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are, the roses of Venus. I knew it. I knew it. I had a, a feeling that you were the one graffitiing everything. That's what we made together. We'd bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. And it's, it's magnificent. I hope they never take it off. You're one of maybe 30 people in the world who knows who we are. It's a big secret. You had me worried. Aren't you scared? It's a big secret. What? Being an internationally renowned art provocate tour? Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess I can I just trust you. Well, that's my secret. This is who I am. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, and now Verona Beach. Our last job all together was the Louvre. It got us a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by Interpol now. And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the better. Ugh. I just needed to get away from it all. You know, Lilo. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite of her <laughs> scene. Valeria looks at you, the truth of her painting on the wall behind, and possibly bright. Love rank four! I am like breezing through these love ranks with her. Open minded. Heavy finishers have a wider damage area. Heavy finishers confuse enemies. I'm liking the confusion, actually. <laughs> Plus, I'm really starting to like it here more than I like. More than like it, maybe. You stand together. People talk about the mirror and take pictures as the sun goes down. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, I know she likes cupcakes. And she likes necklaces. But I know she likes cupcakes. Whoa, what happened? Oh, that's thoughtful of you. Thanks so much. You head home. I know she likes cupcakes. She had a rotting cupcake in her place. Still thinking about that movie. The characters were so stupid. Don't go alone when there's monsters. Fictional characters make the worst decisions. Makes a good story. We're all dumb sometimes. We are. Not that dumb. <laughs> Not when my life's on the line. Or yours, I hope. Oh, well. That's it? Okay. I think I have a date with Sunder. Oh, look at my suit. Finally upgraded. Finally upgraded myself. The music is dark and coppery tonight. Flavored with industrial tunes. <laughs> Sunder returns from a break outside with a wild glint in his eyes. You're just drinking someone's blood, weren't you? Love rank number four. Bleeding enemies move slower. Bleeding enemies do less damage. This one. That one. Yeah. The music gains ferocity and speed as you dance. Eventually, the night draws to a close and the club empties. You stumble outside. The crowd of loiterers smells like gin and cigarette smoke. A scream pierces the chatter. Oh my God, someone called 911. Wow. People gather around something on the ground. Oh crap, is she dead? Is he dead? I don't know, that's messed up, man. Come home, go home, people. It's all right, an ambulance is already on the way. Uh. I don't have the energy for this tonight. Take care of it. Yes, sir. That was you, Sunder, wasn't it? Sunder stalks away towards Kick's Cafe. Follow him as the bouncer for info. Uh, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to follow him. 
Like the who cares? Go to you go to the cafe. The cafe smells like coffee and butter pastries. Mm. Oh, welcome. That one's your friend, right? We're closing soon, so hurry it up. She waves you nervously towards Sunder, who's lounging in a corner. <sighs> hey. He seems distracted, restless. Uh. There's something I haven't told you yet. Yeah, I think following him will get more more uh, information out of him. I don't really know how to put this, but if you don't like me afterwards, I guess it's fine. Take your time. Everyone has problems. Everyone has problems. Not like this, trust me. So you know how sometimes you have a craving for like chocolate? Mm. And then some people are made of chocolate. What? Um, no, this isn't working. Some people are made of chocolate. <laughs> okay, let me start over. Once there was a beautiful princess who promised a young man he could live forever. Hey. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Mandy, nice, nice. She could be like Mandy from um, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Right. How was my timing? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, perfect, Mandy. Hey, messy meal tonight, huh? Should have brought a bib. Uh, what? You came here to just rub it in? Fine, Lola, listen up. You'll be here all night the way he tells it. So I'll just tell you, Sunder's 200 years old. We use blood transfusions to say young. Gross, awesome. Wait, you're vampires? Mm-hmm. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Ah, so you drink blood to stay young. Sunder shrugs it off. <laughs> See? Being upfront makes it easier. Not like Lola is a vampire hunter. Vampire? Shampire. Ugh. Gee, I can't imagine why I'd want to pretend to be a good boyfriend instead. Uh. Whatever, time to go, Sunder. Leave your playmate to think about being your food. Hey. Don't be ridiculous. I'll never I'd never eat Lola. He's special. I'm a vampiric sword, not a monster. You should just own what you are, kiddo. All of it. Denial is a bad look. Lola, don't listen to her, okay? I'll text you. I still, I want this to work somehow. Aww. Don't pressure. You kept a pretty big secret, so give him time to adjust. Sunder leaves, eyes downcast. Don't get me wrong, Lola. The problem isn't just that Sunder's a vampire. Though it can't help that you smell like dinner, but the main problem is that he's selfish and fickle. I'd use this whole thing as an excuse to get far away. He's something to remember us by. Here's something to remember us by. Dark essence, the shadow lurking in every heart. She hands you a small pouch. It smells sinful. It's not your problem. Can I be a vampire? <laughs> Oh, 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 I don't really want to be a vampire. Thanks. I don't really want to be a vampire, so I'm not going to say that. Sorry again, I'm eating. Mandy leaves without a, without answering. I didn't really ask a question. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I was afraid you'd leave. Now you know what I am. What do you think? Hate it. Apologize properly. Vampires are cool. <laughs> Apologize properly. Ooh, sweat. That means a person. Sorry, really? I guess I'll see you in the dunes. <laughs> I'll see you in the dunes. I don't know what these say anymore. Like, these broke. I can't read it at all.